Welcome to our program. Like every month, we'll bring you a summary of the most important decisions and debates of the European Parliament's plenary session. Let's start with the headlines. Parliament asked Turkey to refrain from any violation of Iraq's territorial integrity. New rules on the use of pesticides approved. The EPPED group calls on the Commission to investigate the food prices crisis. The European Parliament welcomes the agreement reached in Lisbon last week on the EU Reform Treaty. Parliament held a debate on Turkey's progress towards EU accession. However, as military activity spreads in the Kurdish region, rapporteur Ria Uman Reuten considered it an opportune moment to raise the issue. Parliament's resolution called on Turkey to refrain from any disproportionate military operations violating Iraq's territory. It also urged both Turkey and Iraq to step up military and police cooperation to effectively prevent terrorist activities from northern Iraq in order to de-escalate the tense situation of the Turkish-Iraqi border. The resolution, adopted by a large majority, asks the Council to press for concrete cooperation between Turkey and the Kurdish regional government of Iraq, which should shoulder its responsibility to prevent terrorist attacks from northern Iraq. Voorzitter, vrijheid van meningsuiting. Het de religieuze vrijheden krijgen terecht. Chairman, freedom of expression and religious freedom are mentioned at length in our text. The process of drafting a new constitution should not be an excuse to avoid changing the penal code and pushing through the other necessary reforms. Dat de 301 en alle veranderingen die er nodig zijn gerealiseerd worden. Voorzitter, het tweede punt wat ik zou willen aanhalen, de relatie met de buurt. Chairman, the second point I would like to mention is relations with neighbors. Good relations with neighbors are essential. This means, when I am looking to Turkey and Armenia, the borders must become open borders. Every economic blockade must be stopped, and I would like to stress that if one does not acknowledge one's past, one has no future. Op het moment dat men het verleden niet erkent, heeft een volk ook geen toekomst. Parliament calls also on the newly elected Turkish government, which benefits from a strong mandate and popular trust, to accelerate reforms in order to remove shortcomings regarding fundamental rights, including the rights of religious minorities and the functioning of the judiciary, in order to fulfill the commitments defined in the accession partnership. The EPBED group was successful in the vote on the report regarding the use of pesticides, as the final text avoids fundamentalist proposals. The use of plant protection products in the EU will be subject to a new regulation which takes public health into account, setting out strict rules of use. Hazardous substances that can cause cancer and other diseases will be ruled out altogether. This approach is risk-based and substitutes a more general and unspecific line adopted previously by the Committee on Environment and Consumer Protection. Christa Klaus, who is the European Parliament Rapporteur on the use of plant protection products, explains. If plant protection products have fulfilled the strict criteria of authorization, then there is no need for a percentage reduction in their use. Besides, no one has been able to explain to me how a percentage reduction can be measured and handled in practice anyway. Member States will be given the required flexibility to adjust the use of plant protection products according to the situation on the ground. An important issue in this context are the so-called buffer zones. These are areas along waterways, for example, where the use of plant protection products is prohibited. EPPED member Christa Klass says, Fixed buffer zones do not make sense. We need to continue with a flexible approach. Buffer zones ought to depend on the geographical situation, the soil and the plants in question. This is how it's handled in user guidelines today. A final agreement between Parliament and the Council of Ministers is expected by spring next year. Consumers face cost hikes of 30 to 40 percent in their weekly shopping bills, despite just a 10 percent increase in wheat prices. The situation is becoming intolerable, and the EPPED group took the initiative to ask the Commission to investigate the supermarket food price increases. EPPED group spokesperson Neil Parrish underlined in the plenary. We also have to look in, I believe, to the situation regarding supermarkets because, don't forget, we are also concerned not only at the price that the farmer 
receives for his products or her products, but we're also interested in what the consumer has to pay. Uh, and there is no doubt that we're seeing, for instance, in a loaf of bread, when there's only 10% of the, the loaf of bread is actually made from the raw material of wheat, and yet we're seeing huge increases in the price of the loaf because the supermarkets say they're having to pay so much more for wheat. So we need to put pressure on the supermarkets to make sure that consumers are paying the right price. And it is great, I believe, now that it puts European agriculture in a very strong position to face up to the brave new world because we will need food production, we will need farmers, and we do need the countryside. And all these things work very well. But like I said, we've got to get the balance right now between the feed sector, between the cereal sector and the livestock sector. The European Parliament welcomed the agreement on the reform treaty reached by heads of state and government last week in Lisbon. The chairman of the EPP ED Group, Joseph Dole, welcomed the agreement and underlined that the new treaty gives the European Union the necessary tools to face the challenges of the 21st century. He also stressed that Europe now needs to focus on swift ratification and on explaining the content of the treaty to its citizens. The institutions and the member states of the EU must commit to this by explaining, explaining and explaining again. What does this mean? It means giving life to treaty provisions that affect the democratic life of the Union, such as the Citizen Initiative and the Association of National Parliaments. It means informing people on the content of the Charter of Fundamental Rights, which enshrines the essential rights of European citizens. It also means better explaining to our citizens who is elected to this parliament and what will they spend their time working on. Elmer Brock, who represented the EPP ED group in the intergovernmental conference which has drafted the new treaty, said that it is important not to lose sight of the enhanced influence of the European Parliament both in terms of legislative and budgetary powers. Because of discussion over the last few days on minor issues, it has perhaps been overlooked just how much this treaty constitutes a real breakthrough for democracy and efficiency. The European Parliament will now have co-decision on 95% of all legislation, and the distinction between obligatory and non-obligatory spending has been scrapped, which means full budgetary powers also in the field of agriculture. The Parliament will have a say in the ratification of agreements with third countries. It will elect the Commission President or the High Representative on Foreign Affairs. The EPP ED Group strongly supports the declaration by some member states that they will start the ratification process immediately after the treaty has been signed in Lisbon in December. The aim is to have the new treaty come into force before the 2009 European elections. This program was brought to you by the press service of the EPPED Group, the largest political group in the European Parliament. You can find an extended version of the EPPED report on our website, www.epp-ed.eu. See you again soon.